Not too long ago, I picked up a new Dometic dual zone fridge freezer. I decided the best place to mount it was in the back of the commander. That means it's time to rebuild the rear storage area. First off, deconstruction. I needed to remove all the electrical. Then it was time to pull apart the old drawer system. After that was all cleaned out, I did a quick test fit. This is when I realized I had googled the wrong measurements when researching the fridge. My first thought was to remove two out of the three rear seats before I realized it was one really awkward bench. After giving it a little thought, I realized that in all the time I've owned this rig, I've only ever used the back seats two or three times. I made the decision to pull them out. The decision, it seems, was easier than the execution. In hindsight, I should have called for some help, but of course, I didn't. The next day, I decided I was a little further behind than I wanted to be, and that I didn't want a repeat of needing and not having an extra set of hands. So I called my buddy Neil. While waiting for my reinforcements, I got back to work moving the electrical, trying to figure out how I was going to bolt things down, and generally trying to make forward progress. I started by mounting the fridge, and then building the structure that would one day become the new drawer system. That doesn't fit any better. It would seem that once I started down the path of getting things built, I completely abandoned the cameras and didn't get anything filmed. Again. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with the passenger side storage. Until I do, I have plastic totes and bags that I can shove into space where the drawer system will eventually go. I attach the same tie downs that I had on the old shelf. Due to the length of the slide, the thickness of the door, I wasn't able to run the top shelf all the way to the back like I did on the passenger side. In order to try and keep the fridge hidden a little bit from the outside, I ran the carpeting a little long. The slide pulls out easily and locks in the fully extended position. The back fridge door can still open easily, though it doesn't open all the way. I expect that when it's in use, it will likely be used as fridge overflow or set to freezer. The space where the seats used to be underneath the platform is cavernous. I can see it being a good place to store the heavier recovery gear lower down while providing more space for personal gear and camera equipment. I added the same small latches on the front of the platform that I put on the top shelf. Useful for storing things when the dogs aren't with me, or when I need to strap in smaller things like my folding chairs. I built the top shelf almost all the way to the windows leaving a little bit of a gap on each side, so if something shifts while I'm off-road, it's less likely to break the glass. 
Overall, I think the dogs have about the same amount of space as they did before with the old configuration. Most of the construction materials were reused from the old system. I'm not sure yet where I'm going to mount my inverter. I'm still trying to figure out if there's a way to make some kind of charging station that is easy to access and will be secure enough on the road. I'm planning on adding a lid over the front of the fridge to keep things from sliding down from the top, and mostly to keep the dog hair out. Before I enclosed everything, I turned the third row cooling system to full cold, closed the vents on the passenger side, and fully opened them on the driver's side. The entire third row climate system is controlled by a switch in the front. The thought is that if the compressor in the fridge starts to have problems with heat, I can enable forced air into the rear, getting some fresh, colder air into that section. There is clearly still a fair amount of work to be done. I'm sure I'll get to it eventually. Until then, it's functional, and it will help me keep things organized and secure as I bounce down the back roads of the Pacific Northwest.